a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster Wordsworth. Charlie and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical musical story maker with stories at my fingertips. Dim -dim -dim. Stir it round, stir it round. Oh, my hat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, that's better. <laughs> Jackson, oh. where are you? It, it's time for you to have your hair done. Oh, in a minute, Jelly. I'm just uh, cooking something yummy. <laughs> uh, but that's mud. Oh, yes, yes, it is mud, yes. But uh, look what happens when I add a splash of Water, it becomes gloop soup. <laughs> that's uh, lovely. Yeah, <laughs> but that's not very nice. Oh, no, no, no. Well, now I get some glitter, add some glitter, and there it's nice and pretty now. You see? <laughs> che -che cola! Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Che -che 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 cola! Hello. Hello, my little furry friends. Mm. Oh, and mm. what are you up to? Oh, well, Webster, mm. the children in the library were reading about all the different jobs that people do. Yes. And Jackson and I are playing jobs. Oh. I'm a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to come to my shop? I do very good hair. Oh, mm. yes, of course, my jellykins. Mm. And, and, and who are you, Jackson? <laughs> well, tonight, Webster, mm -hmm. I am being a chef. Oh. And I have made some lovely gloop soup oh. with glittery bits. Would you like to try some? Well, uh... but, but you have to pretend because you can't eat it really or you would get a tummy ache. Mm. Mm. I would love to try some, Jackson. All oh, right, <laughs> some gloop soup coming up. Um, oh, um, but first, could you fix my hat, Webster? It keeps falling over my eyes. Oh, I know, Jackson. Oh. Why don't I use it to make a story? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Webster. And then can I do your hair? Ah, oh, my hair. Yes. <laughs> I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> In goes the hat. And now we'll need a sprinkle of imagination. Yes. You'll help us, won't you? Yeah. Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What is going to be? Oh, it's a playbook! <sighs> and it's called Guess What I'll Be. I'm dressing up. Can you guess what I'll be? How about I give you a clue? I'll tell you about the clothes that I wear and all the things that I like to do. I have a horse named Joe, and I like to ride him so. I shout yee-haw, yahoo, but watch out for my lasso. Yee-haw, yahoo, I'm a cowgirl. I'm a cowgirl. I'm dressing up. Can you guess what I'll be? How about I give you a clue? I'll tell you about the clothes that I wear and all the things I like to do.
I put on my new shades and go out to catch a wave. On my board I stand like this, but watch out for all the fish. <laughs> I'm a surfer. I'm a surfer. I'm dressing up. Can you guess what I'll be? How about I give you a clue? I'll tell you about the clothes that I wear and all the things that I like to do. If someone's feeling sick, I make sure I get there quick. I listen to their chest. I tell them, get some rest. I'm a doctor. But most of all, I'm me. jobs in that story yes. but there wasn't a hairdresser like me was no, no, there no, no, no. no now this cloak will keep you nice and clean okay have you been a hairdresser for long young lady uh, about 50 years actually <laughs> now i'm going to brush your hair with this little brush but it's not scary so don't worry <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> it feels quite relaxing. <laughs> oh, 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 there seems to be something wrong. Wrong? What's wrong? Well, mm? uh, your hair seems to be a little silvery white. Mm. Mm. But I'm feeling it would be better mm. if it was more silvery white. Uh, but, mm. Jenny, um... <laughs> So, let me see. No, no, no. Mm. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Let's try this. I don't... Uh, but Jelly, um. I don't want it to look too different. Oh. Jelly, Jelly, Jelly. Oh. But it looks so nice. Well, mm. I suppose it looks um, interesting. Mm. Uh, would you like a drink? Mm. Hmm? Gee, please. Yeah. Mm. Jackson! Jackson! Mr. Webster would like a cup of tea. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Oh. Webster. Oh, um, uh, 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 oh I must say your hair looks very silly. Uh, oh. I'm afraid we don't have cups of tea, just some nice homemade gloop soup. Uh, yeah, you want yes, gloop soup? Uh, yes, it sounds go. very delicious. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy. So, Mr. Webster, mm. are you going anywhere nice on your holidays? Oh, um, I think you should go to the circus for your holidays because you look like a clown in that wig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, Mr. Webster? Mm -hmm. If you really are going to be a clown, mm -hmm. I think you need to wear a different wig. Oh, what? Yes. Maybe that one. Um, try it on. I, I, I'm not going to the circus for my holidays. Oh. I, I'm going to the story machine, and mm. this would make a perfect story now. If you both excuse me, I really must be off. Mm. Yeah. Keep oh, your well. head on, Webster. Mm. Mm. Never mind. Uh, so, Jackson, uh, what sort of hairstyle can I do for you? Uh. In goes the wig. Whew. I wonder what sort of story it will make. Can you help with the next part? Come on. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a super baby story. And it's called The Sticky Wig. She's eating candy floss. Yummy. There is a big tent in the park. Ooh. It's a circus tent. Hooray. And look at these funny looking people. Funny people. 
They are clowns. <laughs> the clowns are sad. One of them has lost his red nose. Another has lost her shoes. And the third clown has lost her wig. Don't worry, clowns. Super Baby will help you. Won't you, Super Baby? her blanket in front of the first clown and a juicy red strawberry nose appears the clown is very happy he sprinkles super baby with silver stars now it's your turn clown number two she holds up her blanket and a pair of furry tigery shoes appear the clown is very happy she honks her hooter three times. And what about clown number three? She's waiting very patiently. But Super Baby doesn't need to use her blanket this time. There, little clown. A candy floss wig, all sticky and pink. The little clown is very happy. She gives Super Baby a custom pie. Oh dear, she's missed. Never mind. She wants to give Super Baby a huge hug instead. Which is nice, because a hug is just the thing that Super Baby likes. Hugs are squeezy. Hugs are nice. They're just what Super Baby likes. Hooray for Super Baby! She's triumphed again. Super Baby helped the clowns. She's a very helpful baby, isn't she? Yes, she is, isn't she? Oh, 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 oh and I see you've been to the hairdressers. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it looks quite nice, doesn't mm. it? Um, uh, but I, I don't want to spoil it, but oh. in a minute I'm going to put that hard hat on. Oh, this mm. one? Oh, yes. oh, oh. oh, careful. Just <laughs> the ticket. <laughs> yes, 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 because I'm not a chef anymore. Mm. I'm no. going to be a builder. Oh. Oh, and what are you going to build? Oh, I'm not going to build anything. I just need to do a bit of hammering. <laughs> yes, now what's in here? Oh, oh my that's not my hammer. Me. Oh, oh, what is it? It's huge. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's a lollipop stick. <laughs> now, a school crossing patroller uses it to stop the traffic so that the children can cross the road safely. Oh, you mean a lollipop person? Mm. Oh, well, it's very nice, but I can't hammer with it. Now, where's my hammer? Uh, ah, there it is. <laughs> uh oh, I think it's time for me to make a story. I think I'll use this, but it's a bit big. I think I'll have to shrink it first. Ha! That's perfect. Ha ha! Lollipop, lolly jop. And now we need lots of imagination to make the story machine work. Will you help us? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a blue cow story, and it's called Blue Cow and the Lollipop Lady. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow saw lots of cars passing her field. Oh, I wonder how you get across busy roads. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere very busy, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a very busy road.
And then they arrived. Blue Cow was on the side of a very busy road. Cars and lorries were passing right and left. On the other side of the road, a chicken was trying to cross. Oh, hello, chicken, shouted Blue Cow. Are you having a spot of bother? I've been trying to cross this road all day. Can you help me? Blue Cow wondered and wondered and wondered how to help. She could have gone on wondering all day if a lady hadn't suddenly lollipopped up beside her. Hello, ducks, said the lady. She was holding on to a large circle with a funny picture on it. I'm Lorna, the lollipop lady. I'll help your friend the chicken. Follow me. They walked a few yards down the road and found a patch with black and white stripes on it. Zebra crossing, said Lorna. Ooh, where? exclaimed Blue Cow. She'd never seen a zebra before and wanted to know how it would get across the road. Here, said Lorna, pointing to the stripes. This is a zebra crossing. She held out her lollipop, for that Blue Cow realised was what the circle was, and stepped onto the crossing. All the cars and lorries stopped, and Blue Cow crossed the road, looking left and right as she did so. When they got to the other side, they looked for the chicken, but it was nowhere to be seen. There she was, on the opposite side. Well done, chicken, said Blue Cow. You made it across. I oh, know. Now can you help me get back again? Blue Cow was confused. Why does the chicken want to cross the road, Lorna? To get to the other side, of course. <laughs> Laughed Lorna as she walked off to help the chicken once more. Ooh, I see. Ooh, oh dear. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been helping a chicken cross the road. Everyone knows cows can't help chickens cross the road. But we know they can, don't we? I think I would like to be a lollipop lady. Oh, but, Jenny, you can't be a lollipop lady. You're a story maker, and that's a very important job. Oh, yeah. It is indeed, Jackson. Yes. Ah, but now, my furry friends, I'm afraid we will have to end our story making for tonight because oh, yes. it's almost morning. Uh oh, we'd better hide. The children mm. will be coming soon. Yes. Yes, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh, we've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story goodbye makers, for now. Tell us a fabulous story Come back and see us soon. Story makers, story makers. Goodbye, story maker. Thanks for helping. Story makers, story makers.